Hello everyone and welcome again to my weekly blog at Sterling Lee Fine Art. And in this exciting, fun-packed episode, um, I wanted to talk to you about um, what actually um, finished means. So when I say, well, I've finished a piece of artwork, what, 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 what does that actually entail? What does it look like? What does finished look like? Well, finished will actually uh, be pretty much when I've decided that I'm going to stop drawing or painting or putting gold leaf onto a piece. I call that finished. But there's an awful lot of work to do after finished has been achieved. So, first of all, I would, if it's just an oil painting, um, I would have to varnish it. And when I'm varnishing, that looks like this. doing that. I really do like varnishing a piece. It's very, very um, therapeutic. It's very uh, relaxing. It's very nice. It's quite a sense of achievement. Anyway, when a piece has been varnished uh, and it's been left to dry for probably two or three days, and it, so there's no tack left on the surface and it's nice and dry and hard. One to three to four days. Depends on the time of year, depends on the temperature and so all, all, these, all these sort of matters. I'll then have to do a shoot. So I'll have to photo shoot the image uh, and that entails, um, up until now, until I've got the studio, that entails completely taking over the kitchen diner and setting up uh, the easel and the canvas and the lighting uh, and the camera. And that looks a little bit like this. So when I've done all of that, I then um, have to uh, edit the images. You'll notice that when I've got all of the stuff set up for the shoot, the image, because I generally paint in a portrait uh, um, orientation, orientation, international work sign for orientation, um, so it's sort of that way and not that way. I hope you're paying attention because I will be asking questions. I've got to stop looking like a teapot. I keep finding myself doing that all the time. <sighs> so, when I've got all that done, um, the piece will be arranged so it fits the camera lens best. Uh, and then I can obviously block out the, the background by zooming in and just having the whole of the image within the camera frame. So once that's done, I will then uh, normally uh, watermark the piece on my uh, computer and I will reduce the size of the overall image. So if any nasty, naughty people out there want to copy my image and make their own prints from it, then it'll be very low quality and it won't print very well. Um, and then once all of that's done, um, I have to uh, write a piece about it. So I'll do some uh, description of the piece, what inspired me to do it, um, if there was any overall inspiration. Sometimes I just, um, I'll have an image and I just want to draw it. It's as, it's as much as that. I don't generally get the kind of inspiration that other artists get where they, oh, they see a beautiful sunset or they see a lovely colour of a piece of clothing or something. I'll just see an image and I just think, that and make a perfect painting, make a beautiful piece of artwork. And I'll, I'll just have the need to draw it or paint it. So that's generally the kind of inspiration that I have. Um, so I'll write about it and it will be, uh, I might put some uh, some meaning to the piece after I've constructed it. I generally get that after the construction or the creation of a piece. As I said, my inspiration doesn't come in a normal sort of um, classic way. Uh, I generally, 
get feelings about the piece when I've created it. And so I'll write something about that, normally um, uh, a bit of, add a bit of drama to it, to get any interest, um, and sort of describe how I see the piece. That's probably a good description of how my artwork uh, uh, evolves. I will just see something I want to draw or paint. And then as I'm constructing it, there's uh, my emotion will come into it in that, in that manner, rather than right at the start. And um, I've never actually sat down and thought about it previously. It's just in talking about it today that that's actually occurred to me. And that's probably a pretty accurate way of how it works. And so when I've done that, when I've written about it, I'll obviously list the medium that it's painted in. I'll list, if it's a mixed media piece of gold leaf, I'll describe the gold leaf. Um, and uh, all that will get written, written out. I'll obviously then proofread it, and then I'll put that onto the website. And I'll also do some other images of how um, the piece is created, some sort of process images as it's been created through and through and through, and I've progressed from what the, the initial canvas or the drawing all the way through to the, the finished article. Um, so that all gets put on that. So that, then let's prospective clients see the progress of an image, which I think is also very important because um, it's not that like you just go and there goes blank piece of paper, finished article. It just doesn't work that way. Um, so then when that's done, uh, then I'll put it onto socials, onto mostly onto Instagram um, and to uh, onto Facebook, onto the two pages that I have there for my followers. And then I may even do a video about it on this medium on YouTube. So once something's finished, um, it's not actually finished because there's, there's an amount of work to do afterwards, which tends to get forgotten about. Um, and all has to be done. Uh, it all takes time. I mean, what time equals? Time equals money. So, um, yeah, so finished just means finished the painting, really. Um, but it doesn't really capture everything that I have to do as an artist to make things available for people and to get it out there in a big wide world. So, I hope that little insight's been of interest to you. And um, I'll see you next time.